The following video has been brought to you by me. Hey guys, it's me, Double D, with another episode of Star Fox Adventures! Last time, we cured Tricky's mom from the sickness using White Grubtub, who guided us to this fellow, Gurunda Tay, who told us that his daughter is trapped in Dark Ice Mines, which happens to be the location of the first spellstone. He opened the gateway to us, and that is some weird tusks right over there, but yeah. He opened the gateways to us, which is this really weird, cool, swirly vortex thing. But the point is, the gateway is open to us, which means we are now able to go to Dark Ice Mines whenever we want. And I want to kill you right now because you just popped up for no reason, and I don't know why I'm even here. Okay, cool, I got a mushroom. This time! I don't know why I activated my Firefly over there. Oh yeah, my, my thumb just hit the C stick and somehow it just happened. But regardless... This time, we're going to be going over to Thorntail Hollow to board our Arwing so we'll be, be able to head for Dark Ice Mines. And I will see you right there because backtracking is a pain. Get used to doing this every time you go from Thorntail Ho Hollow to Snowhorn Waste and vice versa. It'll get really, really old really, really fast since there's no skip travel. Because at the time, skip travel wasn't a thing. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention as we are doing this is that... Every time you turn the game on and out and back off again, your Y button reset, no, your Y button shortcut will be reset to normal. So yes, you will have to set your shortcut every time you turn the game off and back on again. It can get really annoying, but hey, at least you can be able to reset it to whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to reset it to the fire command because I can. Oh yeah, one more thing. At some point in, after the beginning of the game, Sharp Cloud will be showing up all over Thorntail Hollow, and will be pretty much getting in your way a lot. So yeah. So here we are at Thorntail Hollow. There's the R-ring right over there, but I do want to make a little bit of preparations first. This is gonna, just going to be really quick preparations. I just want to be prepared, so that's why I'm here gathering my scarabs so we can be able to get whatever I plan to get at the Thorntail store. So yeah. By the way, what I'm going to get is Red Vault's the Thorntail store. Which actually is a good thing good thing that I'm going there because there is something I learned very recently about the Thorntail store, and I want to share that with you when when I'm doing my shopping there. Here we are at the Thorntail store, and I do want to go in here because I learned something very interesting recently. So, what I want to get is the Bafondad holder. Normally it's 20 scarabs, but as you know, we gave able to haggle a price to be able to pay lower than what we actually that's actually in the price. There now, what I recently learned that there is actually a minimum price of what you can be be able to pay. It's not that much of a huge difference, but it's there nonetheless. In the case of the Bafondad bag, it's 15 scarabs. No, that's too low. Of course, this doesn't always work, but yeah, this is the absolute lowest that the shopkeeper will be willing to pay, well provided that she will accept your offer. It's nothing no too noteworthy because like I said, it doesn't always work, so you may as well just go full price on these things. But every time we go to the store, I will share it as to, as to the bare minimum, no, the absolute minimum price that you can be able to haggle. The Bafondad bag, well, what we got here, will carry up to 10 Bafondads, which is a, a significant increase from the one we already have. And the other one, one I do want to get is something that's not needed to beat the game, but it's a nice to have nonetheless. It's Tricky's Ball! We'll be able to go over the intricacies of Tricky's Ball at a later time, but... But we will be playing with it at some point. Now, the bare minimum price... No, the absolute minimum price... I, I keep saying bare minimum. No, it's absolute. For haggling is 11 scarabs. No, that's too low. Now... Now, I got this off of the Star Fox Wiki, so it may or may not be true. But yeah, this is what this is what this is said on the wiki. Like I said, it doesn't always work. Because you could go to the absolute bare minimum that I have displayed on screen, and it could work for you, but it did not work in my case. Anyway, you, as the, te the text said, we could be able to just play fetch with Tricky. This is, if you have nothing to do or just want to have fun, you can do it. And if you play with Tricky enough times, something interesting should happen. We'll get into what that interesting thing is when we have the time. Anyway, so now that I did my preparations, we are finally able to go out of Thorntail Hollow, and by extension out of Dinosaur Planet, to Dark Ice Mines, where the first Spellstone and Garundate's daughter lies. And we can probably collect this Bafondad now to be able to carry 10. I have things to say about the Bafondad bag, but we will be able to get to that later. Anyway, the Arwing. 
We have enough fuel cells to reach Dark Ice Mines. You want to know how many fuel cells you need? Five. We have 25 right now. We, that is... They are really generous with the fuel cells in this game. And believe it or not, we're only halfway there to have the absolute number of fuel cells you absolutely need to complete the game as a whole. There are significantly a lot more fuel cells than what you actually need. It is that generous. Anyway, let's return to orbit and go on to Dark Ice Mines. Arwing has some sort of doors for Tricky to stay in so he can be able to go with us. Anyway, so let's go on to Dark Ice Mines, which is right over here. The Snowhorn tribes are in great danger. General Scales has enslaved us to work in the Dark Ice Mines. If you can locate the gatekeeper's daughter, she will be able to help you. Free the Snowhorn by finding that spellstone. It's up to you, Fox. Let me out. Fly through three gold rings to open the gatekeeper's force field. Let's do this. So, yes, Peppy, we just started. Why did you do tell, tell us to keep going? But yeah, we have to be we have to be careful here because we could miss gold rings at any time. Ah, I just missed one. Yes, Slippy, I do know that. But yeah, this time the amount of gold rings we have to go through is three. And one is right over there, and, um, yeah. So, yeah, every time we go to a new one, we, we have to go through this every single time. And when whenever we go to a new region, we have to go, the, the number of gold rings increases it by two. To get to Dinosaur Planet, that's one. See, already we are able to get, get all three gold rings needed to enter it. Of course, I want to go for perfect. Of course, that's not happening anymore. And, oh, a new one. If you see this X around a gold ring, you need to shoot it in order to be able to get, gain access to that blue, the gold ring. It can re be really, really jerkish because if you don't see it right away, then you're going to miss that gold ring. Anyway, so, I believe that is the last gold ring. I missed one from being absolute perfect. Oh well. Nobody's perfect, right? Welcome to Dark Ice Mines! Pretty with the lava and stuff. Seriously, it is so foreboding with all the lava. Right away, we are in lava. And this is where it starts to get a little bit interesting. Probably. Anyway. This is so creepy. The music is so creepy. And already, we are just... We are just in a really foreboding place. I mean, lava, a volcano at level itself is pretty foreboding in the first place, but here we are in lava and stuff. It just really creeps me out. Okay, well, not really, but volcano as your first dungeon-like place, you know this is, a, this is the stakes are high right here. Okay, maybe not, and die, Bloop! Get used to those things! They will be bothering you a lot. Anyway... Let's go through here, and we have to make sure we don't fall into the lava, or get hit. Except I already did get hit by there. Okay, bridge is going to collapse, and this shouldn't happen up there! Okay, there is a snowy field right out there, out in the middle of- out- out- well, in the middle of the volcano, but whatever. If Xenoblade can do it, then Star Fox can do it too. Anyway, I don't want to deal with you! Please! Go! Die! Die! With a foot to the chest. And here we have ourselves our first Snowhorn. Get the spell stone and save our tribe. Well, it, well, at least we have an objective to do. And we have a crack in the road, or rather in the wall. Uh, where is a uh, fine secret? So yeah, as you know, if you find a crack in the wall, usually Tricky will be able to go here to find yourself a secret. It, this is a really neat thing to remember, so you can be able to get get some goodies or find secret rooms to advance the story. 
or rather your, your, your adventure in the dungeon. And anyway, uh, let's get you. Um, and... Okay, so one more to go. I can, yeah, the side dodge just never seems to work because almost all the shark claws seem to, seem to, well, swing to the side. So side dodges are pretty much useless in this game because shark claw just always seems to do, to, to do the side, side swings and nothing else. And I gotta go be tricky right away. But not after I open this can. And yes, I, I say it's a can. You just told us what the item is, but yeah, we got the shackle key, which is a be able to to unlock shackles on the snowhorn. This will come in handy later because we want the snowhorn's help, and if we want to do that, we have to free them from the, their enslavement. And it's nighttime already, so if you're having a hard time getting Grub Tub, now's your best chi chance to do it if you find it. Okay, so. Not all the snowhorn are shackled, so you might want to find one that's actually shackled, so you do, so you, so well, you don't have to waste time talking to them to get some pointless dialogue. Uh, do you, never mind. This one is shackled. Thank you for releasing me. If you're heading down into the mine. Then please, look out for Belina Tay, the gatekeeper's daughter. She didn't mean to get us into this mess by telling Scales about the Spellstone. She did what she thought was right. Please help her. Okay, lady. I'll keep a lookout for her. This might be of use to you. I found it while I was working. It looked important, so I hid it from the sharp claws. I forgot it was Belinda Tay. I've been calling her Belinda Tay in the intro. I am so sorry. Anyway, she collected the bridge cog just for us. Now we just need to find a machine that uses cogs so we can be able to to use it for, use that machine for ourselves. Good good on her for finding it. Now I do believe there are more sharp there are more sharp claw no snowhorn that is are shackled and that. That girl is not the only one, but I could be wrong. Uh, you're fine. I'll just leave you alone. And I just realized... I just gotta remember the feet tricky. That's all. Tricky, tricky. Uh, where are you? General Skills took the spell zone down to the mine. Uh, I, I didn't mean to talk to you. I meant to feed tricky. I said feed you! How dare you interrupt me feeding my little dinosaur friend! For that, you will die! Foot to the chest! Die! Die! Now let me feed my dinosaur in peace, thank you, enemies! I'm stuck. <laughs> I don't know what got into me there. All I, I, I guess feeding pet. Will you please leave me alone? God! I can't tell I just hate enemies popping out of nowhere. Anyway, so, if you look down in the river, Looks sort of like the cog we have collected earlier, right? Well then, let's take the cog that we have received from that snowhorn and put it in. And suddenly it just increased in size as soon as Fox brought it out of his backpack. We can now be able to flip the switch and watch the machine work its magic. And that opens the bridge for us to the other side of this ravine, and... I don't know why I just stopped to t pay attention to those things when those, those don't even matter. I'm just gonna leave you alone. You're not worth killing. You're just a waste of time. Anyway, now that the bridge is up, we can finally be able to go through, go to the other side of this bridge. And rescue more Snowhorn, and... I hate you so much for popping out of nowhere. Die! Anyway... There's a couple of sharp claw abusing a poor snowhorn. You, this is animal, this is animal cruelty by a couple of scaled monsters. You die with a foot to the chest, or or brain. That works too. Okay, um, now will you die by the foot to the chest? I am forever in your debt. I see your little friend has yet to learn his flame command.
Go on, youngster. Give it a go. If I wasn't so exhausted, I could help you through the main gates. I need some food. So a mammoth happens to know that he know how to teach a little dinosaur, a triceratops like, mind you, how to do the flame command. How to breathe fire. Okay, I'm not gonna question it. At least he learned how to breathe fire, and will you leave me alone? Okay, I gotta put my staff away, because every time your staff is out when you come across like an enemy, it automatically locks on. And I just take you take these guys on anyway, because really these guys just irritate me for how, how often they show up. Anyway, we have this wall of ice. We now can be able to have Tricky breathe fire to be able to break this ice, and oh god, I forgot. Don't stand near Tricky when you when he breathes fire. You we will get burned. It should go without saying, but uh. But yeah, it, it should go without saying, but don't get near Tricky when he's breathing fire. You will get burned in the end. Anyway, so we break this down, and there we go. The ice wall has been, well, extinguished. And we have ourselves a little camp pile of wood for a campfire. Let's get toasty. Flame! Was it, Fox? Okay, actually, that was a great idea. I'll ignore you for now, but the next time you harass me, you die. Anyway, this is such a great idea after all. And... You know what? Since you're an enemy, you will die. Anyway, so let's go. Let's do this one more time, and I gotta get some more grub tub because Tricky is almost out of mushrooms to, to consume so he can be able to do his tricks. In fact, he is one mushroom away from starving. Just one more, and he should be good to go. I'll feed him afterwards, because he's been such a good boy. Come on, Tricky. You can dig it. You can dig him. Good boy. You deserve a treat. Here's a good dinosaur. Here's a good dinosaur. Anyway, with this, we have collected... <laughs> Tricky just looks so engaged with that. Anyway, we have collected our alpine root, which conveniently that snowhorn needs to be able to regain his strength. So now, with that out of the way, we can just push this ice block that is somehow not melted from being underwater for so long to be able to provide ourselves a little staircase, if you will. And because we have our little staircase, we can be able to go back up here at any time. At least I hope that's, a, if that's the case. I forgot, it has to be on the on the absolute center. Yeah, that can be a hassle sometimes. Okay, I gave you a second chance, but you seem to be so annoying, you die! I am just really on a really mean killing streak today. I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, so, now that we have ourselves the Alpine route, I'm gonna leave you alone for now because you're not worth worth talking to. I gotta heal up because I really, 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 really am taking the beating. Oh god, I am almost dead. Well, good thing I bought the Buffon Dad bag at some point. Uh, get out of here, will you? And now we feed him. Ah, oh, that's better. But I need more. Well, looks like we're gonna be going on a hunt on a hunt for, for more snow for more of these things. And on a hunt we shall go. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. I think I'm butchering the song, but I don't really care because it's I probably should not have any business singing whatsoever. Anyway, so we go over here, go up here. And this is a dead end. Definitely dead end. Okay. So, we're going to have to go up this ravine when there is boulders rolling across across, across it. Luckily, we do have our little shield. So every time we see a boulder, you can be able to do this. Protect yourself with a shield. Okay, Tricky. Burn an eight. 
And Tricky, you will go dig it. Fine. Um. Okay. Apparently, if you, I forgot. If apparently if you use find near a grub tub, Tricky will act actively chase it and probably slow it down so you can be able to grab it yourself. And with that, I believe th there are two more alpine roots. I don't remember how many alpine roots we we need to cure him. I, I could be wrong, but we'll just go across this ravine so we can be able to figure out wh how many alpine roots we, we need. Okay. Luckily, there's a bridge up here, and... Oh my god, that almost hit me! <laughs> oh my, that, that was scary! Anyway, let's see. If I'm not mistaken, there should be something at the end of this ravine that should... Oh god! <laughs> I should probably be on a big... On a, on a lookout for that. I just tilted my control controller down as if I am playing Splatoon. <laughs> anyway, there is nothing down there, just a pit of death. So we don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, I, you're going to see me do this a lot because I don't want to get hit by those things. Even though I could easily find health items everywhere in the game. But I could keep my health up. Actually, come to think of it, is, there is this the last one we need? I feel much better now. Get on my back. Let's smash those gates. We will! But I think for now, that's all the time we have for this episode. So, next time on Star Fox Adventures, We'll be boarding ourselves on the Snowhorn so we'll be able to smash the heck out of those gates! I'll see you guys next time. Bye!